morning guys this is it first of May first day of retirement first day officially uh, full-time And what do you know? It's raining. I'm uh, going to stay in my city here for a couple of days. And then we'll... Well, I don't know. Maybe a week. Maybe two. And then we'll head off on my journey. But for right now, we're stuck here in the liquid sunshine. And I'm headed off for breakfast. So I've got to have something to eat here. I'm not going to do a, any cooking in the van. Good morning, everybody. Hey, my second day of freedom. May the 2nd. Uh, I actually slept at a Walmart last night that's because I uh, uh, could at least get on on the internet to have some Wi-Fi out here I don't have any Wi-Fi at home anymore or at my uh, sticks and bricks house not my home this is my home now uh, I don't have any Wi-Fi there so I had to come out to Walmart so I could get some Wi-Fi for the night but look at this look at this mess I have got a lot to clean up. I had to get out of my sticks and bricks house last yesterday. Uh, so I had to just cram everything that I had left in here. I just opened the curtains just now at the front so we can see what's what's going on. We got some light. But uh, I think I'm going to head off to uh, McDonald's here have some breakfast I still can't do any cooking in here there's where this stove is <laughs> under all that pile of stuff there uh, hey the storage cupboards are uh, are organized it's just outside the cupboards on the floor I've got a whole bunch of stuff so anyway let's head off to McDonald's so I can have something to eat get some energy for the day and then uh, clean up some mess here. Well, I had to try out the microwave. I picked up something at uh, Sobeys and put it in the microwave and heated it up. Chicken pot pie and uh, a little bit of shepherd's pie. So all that for supper tonight. And then we're getting ready for the night. Let me just see here. It looks like, yeah, what do you know? It's 6.45 in the afternoon, and the solar panel is still drawing in power. Powering up my batteries for the night. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to have some supper, and then we'll do some computerizing. All right, this is uh, getting ready for bed. This is most comfortable, actually. It's not bad. Still got a bit bit of garbage, or not garbage, but junk everywhere here. I've still got to get it cleaned up. I did a bit, but a lot more to go. And then this is the front in shambles tonight. Hopefully tomorrow, it's supposed to be a nice 24 degrees or something, 25 degrees tomorrow. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. The day is sounding good. Uh, charging up the battery for the drone. Doesn't use any power at all as far as uh, the batteries go. It's just, it's unbelievable. I had 12.5 for the last hour. So it it's not doesn't use much power. 
it says 100 to 240 volts 50 60 Hertz output 13 volts 5 amps uses 5 amps nothing but it works on one one uh, 120 volt AC so and then I've got a problem with the uh, you can see the flashing back there that's my indicators when the voltage gets too low or too high it starts to flash I'm gonna have to set that for higher and lower amounts I don't know why it's doing it at 75% even still now so anyway good morning guys it is now May the 3rd third day of freedom 843 just got up uh, spent the night at Canadian Tire for the Wi-Fi again I have a, a rocket hub from Rogers which has Wi-Fi but uh, if I use up the data on it then I won't I want to use that data for uploading videos because it's uh, way faster uh, so I use the Wi-Fi just for surfing around the net here at Canadian Tire or Walmart or wherever I go I just use that for surfing around yeah this is my aunt's place she lives in the Wellington And I had to come and see her before I left. So. I should go and let you have your lunch. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. So, you got lots of space to put pictures yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a few to put up. I still have a couple that really Oh, is that right? The only one I got left is. See you later. Okay, thank you. The only one I got left is a Chief Dan George one. Yeah, me too. I, I'm going to put that on my. I have a fridge. That it's just the right size. Yeah. The door, put it on the door. Oh, yeah. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I'm going to switch over from the TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. It doesn't fit on the cross beam, on the cross bar there. Otherwise, it could do it that way. I'll have to measure that out to see what I get. But anyway, I'll come back at you when I got it all figured out. It's uh, nicely secured. It's got the cover on. Just the back side back in there is not quite covered very well. I might figure something else out there. But it's on. It's up high. It's secure. I can't open the back door with it on. That's okay. Wow, well, you look at this. I drove all over town with this stuff on my bumper. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I got to get this video out. I want to um, edit and uh, upload it to YouTube tonight. So I'm hoping I can do that. Uh, it takes me a while to edit this yet first, but hopefully I'll get it up by midnight. Anyways, talk to you guys later.